ஷார்ட் அண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் ஜூனியர் ஸ்பீட் ஜூன் நைன்டீன் கெட் ரெடி ஸ்டார்ட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் ஐ ஹாவ் கிரேட் ப்ளஷர் இன் டேக்கிங் பார்ட் in this seminar on family welfare and the progress of the nation i hope you will agree that the development of the country depends to a large extent on the welfare of its people this means the government should take care of the welfare of the families without which the country cannot make progress therefore i have no doubt that this is an interesting subject for debate at the present moment when we talk of family welfare we have to take into consideration the economic position of families it is not enough if we look at the condition of the families living in towns and cities we have to see the condition of those living in rural areas also you may be aware that the people in towns and cities are mostly employed in government departments commercial firms factories and other offices in which salaries and wages are paid every month but it is not the case with regard to people in villages when they have to depend mostly on agriculture it is well known that most of the people living in villages are farm laborers they get wages only when there is agricultural work and during the remaining period of the year they have no regular work of course during the last few years government have started some industrial units here and there in rural areas which also provide them some work however on this occasion i would appeal to the government authorities to take necessary steps for starting more and more industries in and around villages in order to increase the employment opportunities so that the families in villages also or able to raise their standard of living to some extent here i would like to stress that people should be convinced that the size of their families should be limited so that the money they earn can be usefully spent it should be explained that if the size of the family goes beyond certain limit it will be difficult for them to take care of the children whom they love and that such a state of affairs is neither good for them nor for the country it should be remembered that the boys and girls of today or the future citizens of the nation and it is imperative that they should not only be healthy but 
strong letter dated 10th october 1983 from the branch manager life insurance corporation of india madurai to tiru k james agent life insurance corporation balani dear sir we are in receipt of your letter of the 15th instant together with three proposal forms for life insurance duly signed by the parties concerned for a sum of rupees 10000 each we have also received the three crossed checks sent by you towards the first year premium payable by the parties in this connection we would like to bring to your kind notice that you have yet to do business for a further sum of rupees 1 lakh to reach the target fixed for you we are sure you will be able to do it before the end of the year we are glad to enclose here with a check for rupees 500 towards your commission as per statement enclosed please send your stamped receipt at an early date yours faithfully thank you